beautiful cool enough morning at the farm here it's about five degrees so there's just a it's a nice cool dew in the air um sun hasn't come up yet uh birds none of the birds are out yet so i'm going to bring his with me on an egg mobile move and show you how i do it this is how i move my egg mobiles this is a 12 volt uh, recovery wrench um, you typically put it on your 4x4 or whatever this is the capacity to pull six tons and we've got a 40 meter that's aircraft cable wire so my morning typically looks like this i load on my winch i got my feed i also have a battery with me and off i go to the egg mobile <laughs> Okay, ready to go. So this is the paddock we're in. Fences are down. Uh, we're moving up the strip. It's going into a dead end up here. So what we do is we go up here and we go over and we come back down this one. Um, fences are laid out. I don't erect them yet. I just lay them out. We'll take a look at the egg mobile. And then I really have to haul ass at this time in the morning. So everything's ready to go. This is our wench. I've got a mountain point on the front here. Now I am using an auxiliary battery. I'll talk about that uh, later. I'm just in a bit of a panic now, so I'll come back to that. But uh, everything's ready to go. Grip feeders up. Uh, that there's our line out to our, our chargers in the back corner here, so that runs out to the char. Pull backwards. Uh, everything looks good. So I think our handbrake is still in. If we take out our handbrake and walk past it there, here's our handbrake. So it's not doing anything to settle in. So. This egg mobile is double axle, so it's resting on his axles, which make this really easy. Uh, the other egg mobile I have is on a single axle, but with the jockey wheel, I make it work as well. Um, so we're just gonna, I'm gonna run out the wench to the hook point. I typically move about 38 meters is the length of my paddocks each time. I've got 40 meters of uh, wench, and then I also use. Um, we're a couple of miles down the road from Killy Beggs, which is one of the biggest fishing ports in Ireland. So getting uh, big ropes isn't an issue. These are like used fishing lines and I have hundreds of meters of them. So I've got lovely trees all the way around the farm. So at the end of each lane, I just anchor onto a big ass tree and that's how I pull it along. So we're ready for winch and I just use, this is a little uh, a remote that I use. There is a wired version as well, but uh, all we simply do is run it. And now we're moving. Now, we're not going 100 miles an hour, but it does the trick. Um, generally not too hard to roll the egg with. Now I'm only fine tuning this. I've been using this for about a month. Um, I kind of come up with this concept. Uh, during the winter, um, but my plan is that it's working away there now. I could be moving the fence now um, There's still some things I need to iron out, uh, you know, making sure that the drum doesn't get the wire doesn't get wound on the drum and that But uh, it's a little it's about 10 minutes slower than if I was to hook onto this with a, a, a UTV or something But I think I can I can give, make a bit more time on that uh, and a few fine tweaks but Guys you have to remember this wench only costs 400 euros versus 10,000 euros for a UTV now, as you can see there, the wire does tend to wind unevenly, so you've got to keep an eye on that, but it's not too hard to watch. Um, I was talking to the camera there, so I missed it a little, but I just need to make sure it winds on the side. Uh, that's just to ensure that the cable lasts longer. Um, but overall, I'm very happy with how it's working. It's a very cheap way to move your egg mobiles.
that's us in position uh, probably took me less than five minutes to pull that and now the reason I was saying why I'm using this battery I had initially designed the Eggmobile there's a battery in the back of the Eggmobile um, and I was going to run my power off that I had a connection point here just beside the grit feeder to hook on my wench and I had another connection point at the back but what I was finding was I kind of <laughs> overlooked this but the fence was running the battery down at night because uh, it was running the battery all night and of course I want to move first thing in the morning and the solar panel hadn't had a chance to charge up the battery so there wasn't enough I was really draining the battery down and um, probably a miscalculation on my part really so uh, it's a quick fix I could um, install another battery so I could have two batteries in the Eggmobile one for doing the winch one for running the fence and the other uh, parts of the Eggmobile and that way I wouldn't run down the winch battery uh, that's what I'd probably do um, I'm not going to go rooting at it now I don't mind I take this up and I have a solar charger at the uh, workshop that I hook on this battery to and I move both my Eggmobiles with this winch I can move them forward backwards and you can see with these rollers I can turn 90 degrees all I got to do is take the rope go off in that direction hook on to an anchor point and I can swing round both ways so that's how I negotiate my tree lanes um, I use this roller bar and I can swing it around and again I can hook it on the back we go, we go backwards because we always point in the same direction with our Eggmobile because the wind comes from the direction we're looking at it so we use the uh, the wedge shape so if we drive down one Eggmobile or one tree lane sorry we'll reverse up the next um, but I think this is an awesome job and the other thing is you say well uh, you're on even ground it's not too bad I do have some hills here the whole farm is actually sloping um, so what I can do is this is like I said before this is a six ton uh, pulling capacity but it also has braking capacity so I can lower myself down the steep hill if I need to so I just hook it on uh, hook it on the back and uh, release the wench as opposed to pull it in and that way I can negotiate hills as well it's working really well it is more time consuming um, I reckon it maybe cost me 10 minutes extra in the morning than if I had a UTV starting out a small diverse farm is a, is a very big challenge and your resources um, are really important uh, and where you invest those resources I find when I sat down and I worked out I wanted to do pasture layers one of the biggest costs was in some way to move the egg mobiles and typically you would use uh, a UTV or a compact tractor and the price tag on them is about at least 10,000 euros here um, I was using an old Jeep uh, we can look at it up in the yard but it's not reliable uh, you just let me down and I am so busy in the mornings that I can't afford to be messing about and also I don't want to be here at six o'clock in the morning with an old tractor or something trying to start it neighbors aren't going to appreciate that so I found this is a really easy way now that's 10,000 euros I was able to save myself the, the wench cost me 400 euros 500 uh, that included that so about 400 euros a battery you'll find a battery anywhere uh, and you, you could run this without the solar panel you could just charge your battery uh, during the day and it's ready to go the next morning and so I'm moving two egg mobiles so you have the potential there for what 80,000 euros in turnover uh, for taking out 10 grand of the investment cost um, now I probably will invest in uh, something bigger to move these uh, because it's a little bit physically more demanding the wench itself is about 30 kilos so there's a bit of weight in it um, and now if I was clever I could say uh, maybe I'll buy two wenches and put one on each egg mobile and leave them on there uh, that's an option too but uh, my kind of plan is to get so if you want to get started up in pastured layers you can start with this for a year then you'll have made enough income and you'll have some money that you can go then and get yourself uh, something more suitable so that you're not being under severe financial pressure at the starting gate. Uh, now there's multiple ways I probably could have done this there's other devices out there things for moving caravans and such um, but I just wanted something off the shelf um, I might even improve this maybe build my own wench uh, make things a little bit more streamlined um, I'm still toying with idea like I, I, I would love a UTV for flying around the farm in but uh, um, I'm gonna have to wait till I have that money available um, and until the pastures the pastured layers generate that money um, so I got to get the fence up for these guys and get them out so I better stop yakking here
this works in my context. Um, there's a lot of things that need to kind of work along with you to make this work. Like on my farm here, I'm pretty much able to go in a full rotation of the farm and end up back where I need to be uh, at the end of, of our trip around the farm. So I don't have any big long moves to do, but you could get the lend of the neighbor's tractor. You could use a, even a, here in Ireland during the summer. It's generally not crazy wet and we, you could use like a, a four by four, a Jeep. Um, so it's all about coming up with solutions. Um, for me, it's crucial in, in, in these early years to uh, really be innovative and uh, really make my resource base go as long and stretch as much as possible. So I was able to plant out loads of trees in this field. I'm probably hoping to invest in loads of berry bushes this winter with the money that I saved on this. Um, so that's a big one. Rather than spending 10,000 euros on a piece of equipment that is going to depreciate, it's going to cost me money over its life. I can now invest that in something that is going to generate income for the farm. So it's enterprises of the future and that, that's for me a really sustainable way forward to run my business. This is the best part of a chicken farmer's day. Getting his hands out onto fresh grass. Here they come. Now the last job to do is to level the nest boxes. We the nest boxes are set to open at six every morning, so I don't need to worry about that. But I do need to worry about our nest boxes, so I'm going to flip them to. I think we need to go forward, and we're going to run this. Mm, quite a bit, so we're sitting on quite a slope this morning, and there we go, perfect. And that's we're pretty much near full extension there, so it's good to have that. And that'll mean that our eggs will roll away from under the hens and they won't get dirty. You have to put everything into your own context. So for me here, um, at the minute, finances is more of a limiting factor than time. So that's why this works for me. Now, I have no doubt that down the line, um, time will be become more of my limiting factor than finances. And uh, then my context will change and how I do things will probably change. Um, so while I was off moving that egg mobile behind me, my second egg mobile uh, let out the hens all by itself. Um, we'll see that now. And uh, if you want to see how I automate, uh, totally automated my egg mobiles, um, I've done a, an interview for the European Farm Like a Hero Tour with Richard Perkins, and I talk in detail about how to do that. So that's coming out really soon, and check that out if you want to see how to automate your egg mobile. Thanks for watching, guys. Mm -hmm.